Well, today is day eight, and so it begins week two, so I'm back to shoulders and back. Um, today was kind of rough, I'm not going to lie to you. As you can tell, I look a little rough, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, the lighting's not good, um, the living room is being overrun by a four-year-old, so I had to go to a bedroom to do the video, so I apologize for that, but um, this morning we had our forms clinic at the Taekwondo Academy, and guess who was in charge? So, I had to lead a Taekwondo clinic from 9 in the morning until 1 p.m. with no breaks. So it was 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1. And so I was already exhausted by the time I got home. And then I got home and uh, crashed a little bit. But pretty much immediately um, started with the P90X. I did not want to do it. I was exhausted. But I know the importance of pushing play, especially at the beginning. You just got to keep doing it. And I'm so overweight and I'm so determined to get healthy and fit that I just I needed to do it. Um, sometimes folks just got to do it whether you feel like it or not. I was already exhausted. Keep in mind, I'd already done four hours of exercise. And uh, so I knew I had almost an hour and a half left of pretty intense exercise with the shoulders and back and, of course, the Ab River X. So I did it. Uh, my goal was to increase every rep by one, and I pretty much succeeded in that. Um, so I really brought it today. Um, when we got to the Ab Ripper X, I just had to kind of lay there for a minute before I started it. And then when I got it done, I was so exhausted that I literally laid in the floor for a couple of minutes. I couldn't move. Um, in fact, I had to ask my daughter to bring me a pillow because I couldn't even lift my head up when I was laying on the side. Um, and then I got sick, like really sick, um, like going to the bathroom sick. And I'm not going to go into details, but it was rough. And uh, went, got cleaned up, took a shower, brushed my teeth, uh, and here I am. Uh, the point is this. Did I like it? No. I did not enjoy today's workout. It's not because it's a bad program. I, just, I was tired. Yesterday I was so exhausted I slept most of the day. Woke up and immediately, instead of sleeping in and getting some rest, I had to do four hours of Taekwondo, uh, but I did it anyway. Is that going to stop me? No. You know what? Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to get up and do it again. I would do it in the morning, but it's church, and I lead worship, and I need to be fresh when I go in, so I'm going to do it in the afternoon. But you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do day two, and I, I think tomorrow is plyometrics. So it's not going to be an easy workout. It's going to be a killer. But you know what? <laughs> you just got to do it. And listen, if you are watching this video and you are considering P90X or getting in shape or getting fit or whatever that entails, listen, you just got to do it. Uh, I don't feel like doing it either, but I'm going to. And, you know, listen, if I can do it, I am way out of shape, man. I'm like 215 pounds. I'm only five foot seven. If I can do this, so can you. Listen, don't just sit on the couch and watch the infomercials and think, man, I wish I was in better shape. You've got to do it. And if you need a training partner, contact me. Listen, I'll encourage you. If I can do this, anybody can. And listen, if I'm strong enough to vomit my brains out and get back up and say, you know what, I'm going to do that again, then so can you. Don't make excuses. Don't be lazy. I'm lazy and I hate it. I'm tired of being lazy. So I'm going to keep doing it. And you know what, if I throw up every time, I throw up every time. I don't want to do that. But you know what? It's not going to stop me. I'm tougher than that. And I'm going to go forward, and I'm going to get it done. Folks, that's called bringing it. And that's what P90X is about. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being the best. It's about doing your best. And sometimes being your best means going to exhaustion and getting sick, but then coming back the next day and doing it again no matter what. You've got to overcome your fears. You've got to overcome your weaknesses. As always, leave comments below. You can reach me at brian.e.sharp at gmail.com. I also wanted to make mention my calculator watch died, and I got this lovely unit today. Uh, you can't see it very well, but that is the same calculator watch that a uh, little bit of trivia that Sting wore on the cover of um, one of the uh, police albums. And also, if you look at the Back to the Future poster, 
Uh, the, for the original Back to the Future 1, Marty McFly is wearing this watch, and so that's just my thing. I wear calculator watches. Uh, but anyway, listen. Bring it. Bring it with me. We'll get her done. See you tomorrow.